Got another uh, video of my battery bank. My ever-changing system. It never stays the same for very long. It's now down to 700 amp hours because I sold... Uh, actually, I lost a 55 amp hour battery. It went bad. The cell went bad. And I sold another one of my uh, 35 amp hour batteries. So now only I've lost about 100 amp hours total. So I got about 700 amp hours, plus or minus, probably plus 720 or something like that. I've gone ahead and been running this thing uh, only during the day. I have it connected directly up to the solar, where the solar comes in. Uh, pretty much connected right where this uh, uh, one farad capacitor is hooked up to. So what happens is the first... 10 amps made from the solar panels goes directly into running this during the day and then after that the next uh, bit of power goes into charging the batteries and when they hit 14 volts or around even 13 volts the power starts going into these three grid tie inverters and they soak up the rest of the power like right now they're only putting in well, the power factor is only 60, so it's about, they're putting in about 100 watts. And they're holding my batteries at 13.22 volts. <coughs> but I have one more experiment. I'm going to keep this all hooked up the same. It's going to be running this during the day. And at night, it gets so cold during the day at night that even in the morning that Everything in here is like colder than a fridge. It's almost on the brink of freezing, not quite freezing, probably like plus one or two, which is really good. Um, but uh, what I'm going to try is seeing is my 700 amp hours can run my fridge 24 seven all the time. But not only that, I'm also going to be running my, uh, my laptop, anything I'm plugged into my laptop and I use my laptop quite heavily and it's not just a small little power saver laptop it's a uh, it's a big gaming laptop so it uses about 200 watts while it's on and the fridge uses about another 200 watts while it's on and it cycles on and off but it has a high surge when it starts and I'm pretty sure that this inverter will be able to handle the high surge with my just my laptop anything else if I added more the surge would uh, flip and uh, kick the laptop into some power save. I mean, uh, some uh, code or something like that. This is just an extension cord I use from the garage for like my impact. That will start up uh, a seven amp uh, grinder and a seven amp uh, impact gun, no problem. And actually, I'm going to put this kilowatt meter on here as well. So that when I come up out for my updates and whatnot, I can see what I'm drawing. All right. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. All right. This is with both the fridge running and my laptop running, but my laptop's just in standby mode, so it's not taking near as much power as it would if uh, if I was actually gaming or anything. I do game on my laptop. That's what I bought it for. Uh, here's one thing, this does not show power factor value, that's why it's always so far off. It says 180 watts, not even close, because I'm at 224, and power factor is only 70, so my VA is 319, that is extremely far off. <sighs> The voltage is steady at 117. This inverter is almost or always around 117, 118. It has a very good uh, regulated power. I uh, never tried the USB. I uh, use the remote all the time. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, back to watts. <coughs> so, as you can see, I'll be pulling uh, a fairly steady 20 amp load. So, if you do the math, should he be able to easily make the night before uh, sun tomorrow? I've gone down quite fast at 12.6.
you can see the sun has set they are off my panels now this which is running directly off the panels is just barely running so this is probably running on like six volts of power right now so that is zero voltage into my batteries and my batteries are not back feeding because I have these diodes they're not the best way I recommend you doing it a better way I put diodes in uh, parallel you're not really supposed to because one diode takes um, more load than another kicks in sooner overheats and eventually burns out and then uh, a diode after that will do the same thing until they eventually all die but uh, I've already been doing this for three months and they all seem to be working fine so far so one day it might come and uh, they're all burnt out and no good I don't know I'm hoping not I put uh, there's 72 amps worth and According to this, I never have more than about 50 amps coming in, so it should be adequate, but I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, oh yeah, one thing about this thing, running it, it is, today was a high of like uh, 7 or 8 degrees Celsius, and that's not so good. It did freeze the inside, which is... Uh, too bad but anyways this is a great little cooler they work really good if they're left plugged in for long periods of time you get really cold <coughs> and I will update you guys again I'll make this all into one video I say update but it's not really an update <laughs> all right early morning video just turned seven o'clock voltage is holding at 12.4 Fridge is not on at the moment, I don't think. Oh, I'm wrong. It's on. It's probably why it's at 12.4. It's usually earlier this morning, it was 12.5. Um, 700 amp hours. I have no problem running the fridge overnight. Still have plenty of juice. I could probably do this for another 12 to 24 hours. No problem. And it's going to be sunny today. So it's going to charge up. No problem. So it's 9 o'clock the next day. And uh, everything went good. It made it through the day. It got, uh, you probably can't see it. It's all dark outside, but it's cloudy. It's about to rain. It went dark at about 6 o'clock. So uh, the batteries were fully topped off. And then, uh, uh, and that was with that cooler running. I have shut it off now because it keeps freezing everything I put in there, my beer and whatnot. But uh, because it's too cold outside still, in the middle of summer, it'll work fine. Right now it's too cold, so I just leave it unplugged right now. Plus it'll give me more charging power tomorrow because it's going to rain all day. And then I won't have it have, like any sun tomorrow. And then... It's going to rain uh, even more the next day, actually. So um, I'm going to have two full days with uh, next to no sunlight. So I was going to be really putting these uh, batteries to the test. And I'm going to make uh, a day two and day three video and keep you guys posted on this. I'm going to push this system to the limit and we'll see. If I have to use that little generator and this charger and we'll see if I actually have to use it and charge my system back up with it or if my battery banks will hold out or not because I'm going to run this like uh, an off-grid scenario I'm not going to use any wall power it's just going to be the, the batteries and uh, the generator and the gas I have on hand with this uh, big charger here. <coughs> Hopefully, I don't have to use it though, because it costs money. I think I'll. I know I'll be fine for at least one full day. I'm not hundred percent hundred percent sure about two days. Um, that's forty eight hours without uh, sunlight. So we'll see. 
But day one, success with sun. With sun, I can easily keep this up 24-7 uh, all the time. I could probably even use uh, put my freezer on the same circuit with a timer so that uh, the timer offsets the fridge from the freezer from overloading this inverter. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll put uh, day two up uh, tomorrow or something like that. And same with day three.